Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to be reviewing my Umarex 416C today. Um, this gun uh, comes out of the box, 350 FPS, um, full metal with um, full uh, license uh, trademarks. I don't know which generation this is because it, um, it says like all the warning signs and all that stuff on it. So I wouldn't know about that. But this gun fires safety, semi, and of course fully automatic with a nice engraved um, safe, semi, and automatic with a nice 30 over there. Uh, so it's HK416 right here. Um, I have not done really anything to the gun other than uh, pretty much did everything uh, external wise. I put a, a Magpul rear sight, a, a red dot, a, a VSC uh, pec box, a Magpul um, hand grip, and a suppressor from um, Airsoft GI and I wrapped it around with this nice texture over here to make it look more a little more tactical. Also did it on the grip also. Um, painted like you know PL right there, you know for Poland. Did a nice Polish patch here and uh, painted this nice Polish um, flag right here. Um, the reason I'm not gonna be upgrading this comes 350 out of the box. Uh, it's pretty much pretty much how, what you need for CQB. It's, I mean this gun is super accurate, super accurate. CQB, nice and comfortable. There's um, three positions of the stock, well technically two. The first one is all the way down so you know you can carry it around or like go through corners like really nicely. Another one is not too, not too long but this one over here is for probably for more further range. We're not really going into the houses. Um, it's pretty much it. It's not much uh, to say about it. Uh, you put the battery through out of here. Uh, they have the wirings out of here. I wrapped around this uh, tape here too, just so it doesn't get cut or anything. Uh, I do not put it. Uh, when I use this, <coughs> I just put my battery right in between here. I have a nice little lipo. I put it right in between um, this pec box and this rail right here, and it actually surprisingly stays good during the game. After the game, I just take it out and I just put this here and hide it like that. This gun, it's, it's not bad, not bad. The gun uh, it was on sale on uh, Evike for 280. Original price on this is 330 dollars, which is really, really worth it. Full metal, everything, really nice, durable, everything. Um, it also has a bolt locking catch here. The bolt here locks, and you can just release it here with the catch from the back. Fully functionable, and. Uh, it's not really much to it. Uh, this, the, uh, it takes pretty much every single mag, except for the uh, P mags. P mags do not fit on this gun. You would have to do a little custom work to it for it to fit. I've tried. It does not work at all. Cause uh, I don't, I don't, I, don't know. I, I saw some reviews. They said because there's something in here where the, um, where you release the, uh, the mag, but I'm not too sure about that. Um, I have another Magpul, a nice uh, tan um, trigger guard, but I haven't put that on yet. Um, that's pretty much it about this review. Um, the, also, the stock, you can also change the sound, put the regular 416 stock on it. This is the 416C stock on it. And also, the, uh, the rail is a lot, a lot smaller than the actual 416, probably by around 2 to 3 inches. But you can also, like, everything's replaceable, you can make this into a 416, a full 416, but there's no point because you can just go and buy a regular 416 if you really wanted to do that. But yeah, that's pretty much it about the review on this gun, not, not too much else. But yeah, so, uh, stay tuned for some more reviews, some airsoft videos, CQB, and uh, have a good one.